What's up guys, another inexpensive gear review for you, this time for the Rose Cooley. Those multi-tools that has a hammer, little axe, pliers, all that good stuff on it. I have a lot of axes, and I have to say that if every axe that I owned had a rubber guard on it that was made this well to fit, then I would be very happy with those. But uh, this one fits pretty well. I don't expect it to last. Most of the time they end up wearing out because the... Uh, uh, I don't know, just the points of the axe and the blade kind of gets to it. So, uh, I don't know if this thing holds up for a while and I end up using it a bunch or just, uh, stays in one of the vehicles, then I might make a little leather axe mask for it, uh, or something. Cause like I said, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use that, uh, that nylon pouch. It's not bad or anything, but I can put this in my pocket if I need to, or just standard belt loop would hold that. So uh, let's get into the other features of this. Let's look at the axe blade real quick. Uh, it doesn't really seem as though it's profiled in a manner to be used for many things. I could totally see cutting some rope with this. Maybe more like some cordage. I don't know. But uh, this locks right here. Squeeze it. Open it up. Boeing. It's got a little spring there. Uh, we've got some pliers, two different grips in there, wire cutters. Let's close this guy up again. Put this on there just for safety. Don't want to slice myself open. That sharp guy. Let's zoom out again. All right, here we go. Hammer. I mean, it's a hammer. It's a tiny one. Maybe let's get the tools out. All right. So a few of them come out at a time. Let's just go ahead and get all of them out then. It's a party. Tool party. All right, so there we go. If you wanted to do all of these things at once, there you go. Hammer, do that. Axe, I don't know. You wouldn't be able to use these all at once. I'm being goofy now. All right, so let's start with this. This serrated blade, file on this side. File doesn't feel bad. This has a nice fat screwdriver on there. This feels sharp enough. I mean, if you're cutting some quarter rope or something with that, that'll, that'll do you all right. Uh, let's check something real quick. It's not really bending, so it's relatively hard. Um, this guy here, got a little wrench. Guess a fatter head here. Head in case you need a you know, three-quarter inch head. Bottle opener. Sure, cool, standard. And, um, hmm. I don't know why. This is interesting to me that they only have... A Phillips head on this and didn't somehow put something else on this. I mean, everything else seems to be multi purpose. Let's see, nice and hard. All right, and here's the saw. I don't really know. I guess this is just to be able to pull it out easier. If that has any kind of function, let me know in the comments. The blade. Whoa. That didn't take very much pressure at all. This is pretty sharp. A little bit of flex there, so keep that in mind. Keep it thin, nice and sharp. I will try to comment in the future about edge retention on this. If I run into any issues or anything that's noteworthy, I'll put some additional information in the comments section here if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, if you're watching this on Amazon, you can look for the gentleman Scallywag. Scallywag, actually, is how it's spelled. And uh, regardless... If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you do not like this video, you can totally own me by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing anyway. Uh, I'll do some more inexpensive tool reviews here soon. Before we end, um, have a great day.